Okay, we're going to set up a linear program in Excel. We've got our basic data about the price of each item, the calories for each item, and the protein for each item, and our total limits on calories and protein. Um, so I'll start by blocking out room for the decision variables. I like to use green for variables, because the green is verde. Um, and I'll suppose I eat one of each item. And then here I'll put a formula that says how much I'd be spending if I used those values for the decision variables. So some product is our main tool when doing a linear program. I'll highlight the decision variables and I'll press F4 to put in the dollar sign. So when I drag this down, it'll keep referring to those decision variables. You could also use a named range there, um, but then if you're doing that on each different page inside the workbook, those different named ranges have to have different names and it's a pain to keep track of. So dollar signs is an okay compromise. I want to multiply those values by those values. And indeed, if I eat one of each item, I'll be spending 38 cents total. And then I can just copy this and paste it there. If I eat one of each, I'll be getting 600 calories. And 9 plus 5 is 14, so that's correct. Now I'll color this, uh, this cell orange because that's the objective function. O for orange, O for objective function. And these are the left-hand side of the constraints, so I color them lilac. And these are the right-hand side of the constraints, so I color them rose. And now, let me test if I eat nothing, then I spend nothing and I get nothing. If I eat one of this item, I spend all, I get to spend that much and get only what's in this column. Or I test those out and I get only this column uh, results. All right, now I'm ready to call up solver. So I go to data, solver, set target cell, that's our objective function, that's in orange equal to minimize or maximize. Well, I want to minimize my spending. That's an easy mistake to make, to forget to specify that. By changing which cells, by changing the decision variables, subject to the constraints, uh, add some constraints, and I want these variables, uh, these uh, cells to be greater than or equal to these cells. I want to make sure I get enough protein and enough calories since I'm a uh, student on a budget. Um, I don't want to go for it without calories. So I'm okay with those constraints. I should also check that the linear model and non-negative are clicked uh, because it is a linear model and I don't want to be buying or eating negative amounts of food. So I'll click OK there. And now I'll hit Solve. And it's come up with this proposed solution, all mac and cheese, no ramen, uh, for a total spending of $1.22. Um, and that sounds reasonable at least, so I'll click Keep Solver Solution. If these numbers came up unreasonable, I might click Restore Original Values. Um, and it's also interesting to get some of these reports, uh, but you can do that later. OK, and you can see it added some tabs down here for the new, uh, the new reports it just gave. Here it says um, here was how it started out, and here were the optimal values, uh, and which constraints were binding and not binding in optimality.